Good morning, y'all. Um, guys, the temperature outside says it feels like zero degrees. So that's fun. Um, I actually went outside to my car this morning. It was frigid, but it's okay. My dad came down here yesterday and turned on literally every single one of the lights in the house, um, including all the lamps, <laughs> because apparently it's supposed to help it, like, keep it warm in here, because they're not like LED lights, so they emit heat. Um, so those have been on since yesterday, um, and we are actually supposed to go snowboarding um, in two days. So today is actually Christmas Eve, so we're supposed to get leave for snowboarding Monday, Monday morning. And guys, the temperature up there feels like negative 23 degrees. Yes, they did get real snow, so I'm happy about that. However, that's a little cold. That's a little cold. Um, and then my cutie little neighbor, who was also my soccer coach, she brought me this cute little poinsettia and then this little um, stocking and some candy in it. It was so sweet of her, but... As you can see, literally every single light, including the Christmas tree, because, you know, that's got to stay on. And then even in the China cabinet. Oh, man. But I'm just going to go ahead and make me some oats and some iced coffee because I don't care what temperature it is outside. I'm always going to have my iced coffee. Okay. Okay, and also, I'm really sorry about this thing, like, not focusing on me. It's kind of annoying. I don't know. Anyways, let's get this day going. Merry Christmas Eve, y'all! <laughs> also, I tried out this creamer yesterday. Um, I got it, like, two days ago. Um, and I tried it out in my coffee, and it's really freaking good any other chobani creamers that i tried have not been the best however this one slaps this one hits different <laughs> and of course i always use my brown sugar creamer because that's my fave and then my la Colombe coffee um by the way the only reason i get this one like this brand is because it's cheaper you know, we save every penny we can around here. Oh, that's my microwave. Okay. Fun fact, I actually, I don't know if you guys can tell from like every vlog that I make my coffee in, which is every single vlog, um, but I hate ice. <laughs> So, oh, oh, baby, that is the spot. Um, but I hate ice in any of my drinks because it just waters it down. And if it's already cold, then why do you need it? Why do you need ice? You know what I'm saying? So if my coffee's already cold, why do I need ice? I don't know. But um, you know what I really want is like. <sighs> to make like coffee ice cubes. You know, where you pour like the coffee in there and then, cause I could do that because then it wouldn't water it down because it would be coffee. Smart. <laughs> Cheers. So um, I think a little bit later, we're actually gonna go um, a little bit later as in like a lot later, like this evening, we're gonna go see Christmas lights. Um, they're like 45 minutes away, but they're ones that you can drive through. Um, and it's so sad because my brother is not here for the holidays this year. So it's just going to be me, my mom, and my dad. Um, and I'm going to get them to drive through Starbucks before we go. So we can have like a little hot coffee. Like that kind of vibe. You know, Christmassy vibe. 
Um, and then we're gonna go see those lights and I don't know, maybe watch a Christmas movie um, and have a fire. A fire is definitely happening today, whether it's with my family or not, because it's freezing. Also, if you guys have not seen the show, um, it's called Suits and it's on Amazon Prime. <coughs> I'm a little sick, I'm a little sick. But it's on Amazon Prime and it's so good. If you have not seen it, then you need to go watch it. It's so good. It's like about like lawyers and stuff. And it's not just law. Like there's love and drama. It's so good. Um, so yesterday I did not feel good. So I literally watched Suits the entire day and got through a whole season. And each episode is about 45 minutes long. So spent the whole day watching that. But 10 out of 10 recommend. So that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna watch more suits. Okay, <clears throat> I need to know, do you guys do New Year's resolutions? I don't because your goals are gonna change over time. And like most of the people that do do them, like the goal they wrote down in January, they forget that goal by the end of December or that resolution or whatever. I've never, I've never actually heard of a person that stuck to their new year's resolution unless it's been like to quit smoking or weight loss or something like that. Um, but I feel like people do it until like, people stick to their resolutions maybe like January through March and then after that it's like they just get too busy or whatever so I don't do New Year's resolutions um, and I think it's better to do like short goals than like long-term goals like short-term goals than long-term goals um, but I'm curious do you guys do New Year's resolutions and if so do you actually stick to them because I don't know. I just don't, I've never heard a person in when December comes around, I've never heard a person say, oh yeah, I achieved my <laughs> new year's resolution that I wrote down in January. So I don't know. I just don't think they work <laughs> and not that they don't work. I think it's the people that don't, that set them that don't, follow through with them that doesn't work <laughs> I think that's why I think the short-term goals works better than the long-term goals because the short-term goals they're more foreseeable because you can achieve them quicker so then it motivates you do you guys do new year's resolutions and if so what are they I would like to know also I'm so incredibly sick and tired of this camera not focusing I'm gonna try to get a fire going. Um, I'm not gonna lie, yesterday when I was trying to start this fire, I used half of the box of matches because I my striker um, it like ran out of whatever is in there. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so the striker won't light, so I had to use a um, match. So, we'll see if I can get this thing started today.
Okay, this is the hardest part. It's the stupid matches. The cardboard works better than the freaking pine cones. <laughs> Y'all, did I just, did I just do that on the first try? Um, I think I sure did. Let's see if it actually keeps up. But like the flame is even coming up through here. So I'm hoping that the starter log, oh yeah, the starter log got lit. So that's good. That's really all I need is for that to light. Oh, all warm and cozy now. Okay, I really did that. I don't need no man. And by man, I mean my dad to come down here and start it for me. <laughs> you guys, I just got off the phone with Dylan. Um, There was a package sitting at my door and it said you know, Dylan, his name on it. And so I texted him, I was like, hey, I think you sent um, a package here by accident. And he texted, or he called me and he was like, no, I don't think I did. I think you should open it and see what it is. I opened it, you guys. He got me a camera harness. If you know, you know, photographers, you know. Um, so basically what it is is, um, it takes the load off your neck and puts it on your back. Um, and so cameras can get really freaking heavy. Um, and he knows I've been wanting one of those forever. And I absolutely love it. Let me just try it on for you guys. Hang on. You guys, look. Look, I still have to fit it to me. Can you see? I still have to fit it to my body, obviously like, you know, tighten it and whatnot, but you can hook your cameras and your camera bodies and it just is so much more practical than anything hanging from your neck. Um, I screamed when I opened it and I was like, there's no way, there's no way. And so I could have sworn it was him sending a package here on accident, <laughs> but I absolutely love it. And Dylan, if you're watching this, thank you so much. You're the best. Um, yeah, I am uh, over the moon about that. I love it. And that just means I need to get more camera gear. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Camera gear is expensive. But um, my dad just brought the dogs down here um, a little bit ago. Didn't he, Rusty boy? Jade's over there laying in her chair. But I'm gonna um, watch some more TV and then I'll cook lunch here in a second. But anyways, I just thought I'd show you guys that because that was just so sweet of him. So sweet. It is now 4 p.m. on Christmas Eve. And I have sat in this exact spot all day long. So that's good. But um, I'll probably go to the gym here soon because I don't have anything else to do. Just a little update for you guys. We just got a call from the guy who was like, house or cabin thing that we're renting on Monday in um, the mountains. And he said that we need to get chains for our tires or else we're not gonna be able to make it up the mountain. So that's fun, <laughs> kind of scary, 
because I don't even think, well, we'll have to take the truck because that's the only car we have right now that's four wheel drive. Oh my God. Please look at this. <laughs> All right, it's time to go see Christmas lights. And since it's colder than a literal witch's tit outside, I've got my big fuzzy coat thrifted. Thanks, Goodwill. Appreciate it for $7. Can't beat it. It is so cute. I literally love it. So I've got this um, and you know, we're running into a bit of an issue because we haven't eaten dinner yet and we're planning on getting something to eat out. However, we don't know what's open or if anything even is open. So I'm thinking that Chinese is going to be open so we could get some Chinese. Start making that a Christmas tradition, but <laughs> what's up? <laughs> Sorry. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and head out. Come on, doggies. There comes Jade, Rusty. Oh, come on, puppies. It's time to go. Anyways, we'll see ya. We'll see ya. Um, I guess when I get the fam. Here's my little elf on the shelf. For reference, I'm 22 years old and mom still does Elf on the Shelf, but I love it. Mmm, the Christmas Eve dinner. Mmm. <laughs> -mm. <laughs> it's a, a little too cold for the windows to be down, mom. No, it's the ambiance. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> on her forehead and incriminating claws marks on her back. That would just have matched the hair in Grandma's wig. I warned all my friends and neighbors. Better watch out for yourselves. They should Christmas Eve we had so much fun going to see the lights I hope you guys wherever you are whenever you're watching this I hope you guys had a good Christmas Eve with your family friends whoever you're spending it with um, and finally Merry Christmas oh Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. <laughs>